Classic lineup of trucks tonight, and interestingly enough, they've begun with one of the oldest. This is a 1939 Ford. Freddie Powell out of LaGrange, Kentucky, behind the wheel of the Leaping Lizzie. Freddie Powell has been pulling for ever since they started this super modified class, and it involved 10 years. And it's a beautiful truck, and it's a bright, bright lime green, supercharged 454 cubic inch Chevrolet, turbo 400 automatic transmission, big horsepower truck, weighing in at 6,500 pounds tonight. The super modified class is so exciting. You know, we say it's a 39 Ford, but I guarantee you the engine is not from 1939. No way, Ken. <laughs> the only thing that we've got that was 1939 is just the skin on the front fenders and uh, the body itself. Look at the windshield frame made out of wood. It's a beautiful truck. The Leapin' Lizzie from LaGrange, Kentucky. And Freddie Powell will have the honor of christening the track tonight here in Richmond, Virginia. Well, listen to the big blown Chevrolet just crack itself. finish line and a good opening pull tonight for the Leap and Lizzie. Well, he, it fell down on him at the end. The motor came down and it was loaded up. The bite was there. Actually pulled that supercharged Chevrolet down with the loading on it. A Freddie Powell, 136 feet and four inches. Uh, not a bad mark to begin with, but I would think that uh, someone will better that before the night's over. Perhaps the little red wagon. This is Tom Douthit from Pulaski, Tennessee. 12 years he's been in the sport. Interestingly enough, Interstate 65 goes right through his dairy farm down in Pulaski. I would think Tom made a few dollars from the government when that happened. Well, I should hope so. Maybe that's where he got this new 1988 Dakota <laughs> truck body. It's a beautiful truck. 1,500 horsepower, and it is a key flack. It's one of the big KBs. 497 cubic inches, but, you know, this is not so much the cubic inch game with the blower. Watch it. The Little Red Wagon comes to the big city and does all right. Nice pull for Tom Douthit. Tom Douthit has zoomed into the lead with a pull of 144 feet and 10 inches. Could be outdone, though, by his son, who drives this truck, Big Daddy Magic. This is Larry Douthit, who started in the sport so young, his dad, Tom, had to drive him to truck pulls. Well, I guess that's the way to get started. But, you know, actually in pulling... A lot of youngsters get started in it, and we talk so many times, so family orientated. This truck is tough. He could win it. Hey, I think that could be a full pull. Looks like he has gone the distance outside, was what they would say. A full pull for some Big Daddy Magic. And he goes the distance. He's in a full pull. He sets it. So if anyone else does that tonight, we've got a pull off. If you want to go all the way back and trace the roots of Alan Gaines' entrance into truck pulling, I guess, Mike Galloway, you look at this truck. This is the original. This is the original Orange Bossom Special. This, Ken, is the oldest pulling truck in America that's still in competition. Is that right? That's right. A gentleman named Carl Bidwell just retired his trucks after a, over a thousand hooks. This was second. Allen started with it originally. He has turned the driver, the driving over to Kalen. But one thing you need to kind of watch on this truck. something He does something with this truck that no one else is going to do. About half track, he'll shift this truck from second to high gear, and it just sets sails and goes towards the finish line. A lot of guys have tried it. But when they have, they've found pieces laying on the track. Uh, it's an 85 Chevy, as you can see, a blown Chevy engine. And the driver is Kalen Dews, who does a lot of driving for Alan Gaines. He's got the green light. One, two, three, shift, and a full pull for Kalen Dews. Beautiful job, and he did. He shifted the truck, and it, when he shifted it, it just like a rocket. They called Kalen Do Baby. <laughs> they said if you ever had to buy all of the pop that he drinks, that's why you'd call him that. 
It's a full pull for the Orange Blossom Special, so we know one thing right now, there will be a pull-off. Back in Richmond at the Richmond Coliseum, Ken Brew and Mike Galloway, and we are ready for the pull-off in the Super Modified Trucks, and the first out of the shoot tonight will be Big Daddy Magic, Larry Douthat, Pulaski, Tennessee. The first to drive through the door tonight will be the first in the pull-off right now. Will it, will it be a Dodge, or will it be a Chevrolet? We'll know. Here comes the dog. Wise choice. The, Beautiful the right choice. side of the track, which I guess is what you're speaking of. Oh, exactly. And I mean setting it, setting it completely on the right-hand side of the track. Laid it right on the edge. 138 feet and two inches, Mike, about uh, about 12 uh, in 12 feet shorter than the full pole, so they've reweighted the sled, obviously, for the pull-off. Oh, yes, much heavier. Box coming up the ramp even quicker than it was before the pull-off. The other full puller tonight, the Orange Blossom Special, Kalen Dews, driving Allen Gaines' truck, and so we'll see if the 85 Chevy can beat the 88 Dodge. And I think you're right, Mike. He looks like he's going to try the left side of the track as opposed to what Big Daddy Magic tried, which was the right side of the track. Be beautiful job on Big Daddy Magic. Just went over there and ran the right-hand side, just zipped down the line. Let's see if Mr. Dudas can do that. Boy, the motor's crisp and ready to work. He's got the green flag, and he must better 138 feet. Mike, but I think he's done it. It is very, very close measurement, Ken. I think from, from where we sit, I think he's done it. Now there, as you can see, is Larry Douthat. Well, Larry, is, he's watching it, and he's, he, he's studying his lesson. He's going right to, over and talk to his dad. He thinks he's won one. He thinks he's won it. Let's watch Larry Douthat at the end of it. Right there. Watching Kalen Dews. He says, I got it, man. I got it. It's That's fine. It. That's it. Well, That's what he wanted. Well, here's the way it shakes down on the Super Modified tonight. Eddie Powell and Mr. Diamond T finishes third. And in the pull-off, Larry Douthat and Big Daddy Magic outdueling Kayla Dews in the Orange Blossom Special. Well, maybe he had something in line here when he thought of the Midnight Express. Alan Gaines. Alan Gaines from Georgetown, Kentucky. In his 1936 Ford C-Cab, just a gorgeous piece of pulling equipment. Well, it's a beautiful piece, much like the T-Buckets of the early years, but this is phenomenal. The twin motors and an absolute engineering masterpiece, something else that Alan Gaines has got. He said when he built this thing, I'm going to make four-wheel drive that does a wheelie, and no one, everyone thought, well, that's just absolutely no way, Alan. Well, well, he has that. The two rear axles are both pulling, and it pulls a wheelie, as you're seeing right there. Yeah. Isn't that unbelievable? He is a sorcerer, Alan Gaines Jr. And the crowd love him. Oh my word. Talk about Roanoke. He was halfway to West Virginia. He drives barefoot. Alan Gaines will emerge from that cab momentarily and to the entire crowd here at the Richmond Coliseum, he will display what should have been on his feet, a couple of boots. Alan Gaines Jr. with a complete full pull and then some here tonight in Richmond as he backs back. Take a look at the craftsmanship on the back of that truck that is Philippine mahogany that is crafted and polished and taken care of oh so carefully by Alan Gaines Jr. Founded in a junkyard 10 years ago. It was still on the road 10 years ago. Alan said, how much would you like for it? The price was astoundingly low and Alan Gaines has turned it into one of the finest truck pulling vehicles in the country. And the whistle signifies that it is indeed the Midnight Express. Wheels up early. This is the Allen Gaines style as he carries the front end down the track. Just picture perfect driving. This truck has got the balance and the style of absolutely any vehicle you don't want to see. It is tremendous, and he drags the sled out of the arena. It might have gotten him for grand larceny if he didn't stop. 
Now stand by because coming up next, it's the modified tractors who take over. When we continue, here from the Coliseum in Richmond. Stop here. Every and this is Ken Bruce speaking to you along with Mike Galloway and the modified tractors have taken over the track. And when you're talking about tractor pulling, there is no bigger name, no greater legend, no man seemingly more mythical than the legendary Art Arfons of Akron, Ohio. And here he is in his bush beauty. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And very special night tonight for Art Arfons. That is? His birthday. I could sing happy birthday to him. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I'd rather just wish him a happy birthday and give him a card than have you sing. Well, maybe after the show. A couple of GE turbine engines, the green monster, as fierce a pulling machine that tractor pulling can offer. Brings the engines up to 75% before they turn the wick up on them, and when he does that, you'll see fire coming out of the back of it. He's been in motorsports for 30 seven years sound sound almost like helicopter engines they exactly good good work ken that's exactly where they came from originally it's got flames and fire boy it, art i find is always an innovator he's always super tough and he's just truly a pleasure to be around this guy is you know he is the hero of all pullers i'd say and the root of the arfons pulling dynasty we will see his daughter in a little bit and he has a son tim who's also big in this sport i think the fire is about to start blowing well where there's smoke there's got to be some fire and here it comes estimated horsepower oh six thousand that's it huh that'll haul you down to the 7-eleven for a little milk and crackers about 120 mile an hour tire speed on the back of it oh man Oh, man! Hard Arfon! Ride of a lifetime! Oh. Look out! My goodness! Well, we had a... The, our cameraman had a good idea. Get out of the way! Look at that! That's about as close to the wall as Art wants to get. And just a superb first pull of the evening for Art Arfon. There's only one thing you can say about that pull, Ken. Full pull! Full tilt boogie here tonight at the Richmond Coliseum. Let's watch him as he brings it to life. There's the action out of the big turbine. Art Arfon leashes the power, and up comes the front end. He is in for a ride. Look how high, right up on a wheelie bar. Look at the dirt coming off the rear tires, 120 mile an hour. Drifts hard to the left, but by that time we're out with a full pull. Absolutely picture perfect. Look at the kids. Hey, I want to get out of here. Yeah. Here comes Art. <laughs> well, take a look at this puppy. Oh, my word. This is one to go. This is Gary Mills, Boston, Maryland. And that can only mean one thing. That's a turbine engine as well. No doubt about it with Big Bird over on the right fender of this tractor. Gary has a couple of neat things working for him. One of them, he's a pilot. He owns a pilot's license, and his, he and his dad take care of an airport there. Also, they got a little bit of a trick back there on the rear tires. It's really made this thing come around. Well, he's got Big Bird on the fender. He's got Slack out of the chain. And he's about to go gonzo. Let's watch him as he really gets ready to power down with this one. It's a 64, a T64 GE. Look at the tire speed on it. He has got it hooked in. Little bit. Gonna be close, but I don't think it was a full pull, and it didn't look like he really got everything out of it that he had. I thought he, I thought he really did a good job. I thought he was on top of it, but you know, again, the problem being on that machine, he was nose heavy. He had too much weight on the front end of it. Should have probably had 200 or 150 pounds off of the front, moved to the back. Well, one to go falls a couple short. 147 feet and six inches tonight for Gary Mills. This is Ron Washkow, Iowa Falls, Iowa couple of Allison aircraft engines. Here's a guy who was constantly on the road, Mike. I said, how many days a week do you get home in between these weekend poles? He said, about one. About one. Well, when he's traveling as many miles as he, that he's traveling, I tell you what, one would be real, real lucky for Ron. Ron currently sitting in the number eight spot with Top Gun in the points championship race. He's like to move up, and he can do it if he can put a good pull together tonight. He's really got this thing cooking for him right now. I mean, it, it's working well. Got him. He is in 
the pull off there is some excess fuel burning off but I can relate an interesting story Mike that he told me if you recall our show that we did in Kansas City he had trouble in the pull off he did not have any kind of a pull in that particular class he tells me he's been having a lot of trouble with the timing of his engines the fuel line is just not in sync with what's going on and uh, he spent a lot of time working on it tonight so we'll see if it's a factor when he gets to the pull off at least with Art Arfons and maybe some other people well here is new and improved rambunctious no uh, Milt Bergman has not built something since his last pull he is uh, back with his second tractor of the night from Fort Recovery this one with a couple of Allison engines and uh, Milt has a lot of his own work inside that tractor. Well, the turbochargers, the fuel injecting, it takes a lot to put one of them together, especially the way he's doing it right now. And they're doing a great job. You know, he's a past national champion. He's currently ranked number two in the points race. That's the Budweiser Ford Championship points race for the United States Hot Rod Association. He'd like to go up the ladder. out the door with a full pull he's out with a full pull it wasn't easy the motors on the back of it aren't acting one of the two engines and I can't I've got to think it's the back motor it has to be the back motor it's not acting right Ken that thing's got a real bad miss in it it just didn't sound right as it went down the track I say it's a back motor because we can hear it the front motor's turbocharged you don't hear a lot out of it so let's watch him come down the track front ends up well I mean it's high in the air but it's just kind of banging. Look at the right hand bank. You're gonna see a mist coming out of one of the cylinders back there on the back. And uh, it, it's affecting the power. He's down on power, not the normal Milt Bergman pass that you'd usually look at with him. Still good enough to get him out the door and Milt Bergman has gone with the full pull and will now join Art Arfons and Ron Washkow in the pull off. We'll see if there's someone else who can get into the big party. Here. Is a little persuasion. Troy Washkow, the persuader. Only one Allison engine, but Troy has demonstrated on a number of occasions that uh, he can take less power and do more with it, and some people can with more. They're having trouble getting it in gear. It backed up fine. There's Bill dad Bergman. and That's Bill, Bill Bergman, Bergman out there, but look at him. He's trying to get it to go into gear. He's working on it all. Of, there's, there's three or four pullers out there. His dad's out there. Brings the RPM down and trying to get it to go in gear. Just rock it, rock it. Now they cleared it out. Troy says that he's 20 years of age and been involved in this sport for 20 years. I bet. Been driving for the last three and doing an extremely good job. Took over dad's old tractor. His father drove this originally before he got the Top Gun tractor. And Troy will be a force to contend with in future years. Allison, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's excellent, as a matter of fact. Troy's been having some problems with the mag shaft in this thing, and uh, hopefully, I believe he's got them worked out because he had a great run. And Troy Washcow tonight drives his one Allison, 105 feet and nine inches. Sometimes one Allison is better than a couple of Debbies. We've got four in the pull-off right now, and the leader of the pack is Art Arfons. He was the first to go the full tilt. And now Arfons, along with the top gun, Ron Washtow's tractor, new and improved rambunctious with Milt Bergman behind the wheel and the blazing bison will all pull off to see who wins the modified tractor competition tonight. No full pulls now. They will measure distance. Whoever goes the farthest wins the booty. What a beautiful tractor. We said that initially, but the more you look at it, the more you realize the magic behind this. The turbine engines, not unlike some of the helicopters that are out on the airwaves right now, you know, the Hueys and the uh, big old helicopters that fly around, Bell Jet Rangers. Yes, sir. Well, this is what powers the Bush Beauty, the green monster. This is what sends Art Arfon down the track. Art is always there when he calls for it. There is some heavy thrashing going on in the pit area right now. The guys are making some last-minute adjustments to go into this pull-off. Who's it going to be? We have got some of the finest in the race for the championship, and Art Arfon setting on the line, getting ready to unleash the power. Art 
As we mentioned earlier, standing tall in this points race, sled has been reweighted, hasn't it, Mike? Oh, most definitely. You're going to see the the weight box come up the ramp extremely fast. They want to shut them down within the limits of this 150 foot. Stand by for the fire and fury of the green monster. Watch the launch. It's going to be so important tonight. The reason being, he needs to get everything he can get right out of the hole. He needs to thunder, and he's on his way. Look out. Art Arfarth can maybe do it again. He's still going. Drag it on. He has pulled it past 150 and almost out the door. Almost as far as he pulled it the first time. Look at that. Unbelievable horsepower. You're right, Mike. He had to nail it right from the get-go, and he did. Well, it, it was necessary, Kenny. He knew how heavy the sled was going to be, but watch him. Watch him launch this thing. Actually, just... Just zing the tires, turns the tires loose. Look at the tire speed. This thing is hooked up and hooked up well there. Shoots up in the front end, comes down again, and Art is on his way to one of the greatest pulls you're going to see Art Arfon make in a long time. It's down the middle of the track, and that's where you need to be. 163 feet and 11 inches. Art Arfons has now set the mark. The others have to catch him. And the next guy that has a chance is the top gun. Ron Washkow went full distance, first time out. Interesting to see how he performs in the pull-off. This tractor has not been behaving well if it had to make more than one pass tonight. But we'll see if the top gun can shoot down the green monster. Well, when Art Arfon sets the mark, he really sets one that's going to be tough to beat. Ron running semi-right a little bit off the right, right hand side. It was like an army pull, left, right, left, right, and flames at the end. For all it was worth, it was a great try. Up in the air, real high in the air, but it thinks working real, you know, good like that. Good that high. He loses a little hitch height, but uh, it, it seems to be working for the tractor at its best. Now, Milt Bergman, who went the full distance and knew it and moved rambunctious. And Mikey's chosen the left side of the track. Good place to be for mighty Milt Bergman, currently number two. He's just uh, a very few points behind Bill Leishner. So a win tonight could propel him to number one. Well, it could. It could, it could bump him right up. And this is with his tractor. He's a, a past national champion. He's going to have to light the tires right out of the line. He's not running real good. Let's see. That was a game try, but you could see he just didn't have it tonight. He had a good move, though. He had a good idea, and, and I thought it was a great idea. And that's cross-track, Ken. He could take a look at the, the tracks that had gone down the track, from the back of the track to the way the sled went down the track. He shows real clear that it goes completely from one corner of the pull track to the other. Well, it may be new and improved, but it's the same old soap for Milt Bergman. 119 feet and 4 inches and nowhere close to where he needs to be for top prize. Maybe the blazing bison can catch Art Arfons. Maybe. The mark to beat is 163 feet and 11 inches. And the blazing bison, with a great pull to get into the pull-off, will need every bit of it now to catch the green monster. If there's a young man here tonight that could, it would be Steve Jackson. He didn't. Art Arpons will win the pull-off, as Jasky apparently just did not have the horsepower. Mike, it, it really didn't feel right right from the start. There's definitely, there's, you know, they, we talked about the one engine that went down on them last night, and uh, they could have another one in some problems. The front motor now may be hurting a little bit. There is the man of the hour. On his 63rd birthday, Art Arbonz delivers the cake with candles 
complete. Well, here's the way it winds up in the modified tractors. Ron Washkow in Top Gun finishes third. Milt Bergman, the new and improved Ram Bunches, good enough for second, but the man of the hour in the green monster, and the winner is Art Arfons.